Hey food nerds, I'm Julianne Fader, the gastro nerd, and if you're gonna go on a date, make sure you listen to what your date wants to order. Yes, I went on a terrible date a couple weeks ago with this guy, he was very promising. My parents had actually introduced us, and so he seemed nice, he came, he wasn't a random person, nice family, a nice job, and most of all, he seemed really passionate and interested in food, and in, even selected a restaurant that I'd been really wanting to go to, this really cool Thai restaurant downtown in New York. Very great reviews, sound fun, great. So we go, we meet up. First of all, he had super like slick back hair. Strike one. Strike two, when it comes time to ordering, I'm looking at the menu, and look, I'm in the food business. I'm a private chef. I know about food. He knew that about me because he actually had eaten one of the breakfasts that I had catered, so he, he knew I, I was into food. So you would think he would value my input, but regardless of whether I'm in food or not, he should still value my input because I'm a person. So I was looking at the menu, and I had a few things I was looking to order, like a light, there was this one salad thing that was flavorful, but light, and some grilled seafood, because I knew he was interested in ordering some heavier dishes, which I'm totally down to try, but it's about balance, like everything in life. So I suggested this mango salad and there was some grilled seafood. He completely glossed over it and ordered exactly what he wanted because I guess that's who he is. Strike two. And what did he order? Heavy, heavy, heavy foods. He ordered a liver and curry. He ordered bone marrow. He ordered fried pig's ears, some big goopy salad thing. You know, some of it was good, but it was so heavy that we had to cancel our last dish because it was too rich and too much food, even by his standards. It's not a girly thing like I couldn't handle the food. I can handle the food. It's just like you have to balance your menu. Had he listened to me, we would have had a much more enjoyable meal, at least from a food perspective. The conversation wouldn't have changed. Then, of course, strike three was I went outside and he was smoking. That's a major deal breaker. I will not make out with you if you smoke. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Who smokes anymore? Really? Like, come on, don't, don't smoke. I digress. The point is, if you are going to go out on a date, you have to have, you have to listen to the person who you're with. If they want to order something, let them order it. Maybe you don't agree with their choice, but you don't know them well enough to turn them down yet. Give them a shot, right? Trust me, I see people making poor food decisions all the time. But until I get comfortable with them and I can say, hey, you know what, I think this might be better, try this. Gotta let them have what they want. It's part of giving. It speaks volumes to the type of relationship you'll have. Having an open discussion. Now when it comes to ordering in general, if you're in large groups, I'm all for someone taking charge and doing the ordering. But if it's just the two of you, talk. And most importantly, listen. So guys or girls, if you're out on a date, make sure to make that conversation a dialogue and listen to what they're saying because if not, it is a major deal breaker and a major dating don't. Thanks for listening to Ask the Gastro Nerd for all sorts of dating advice, especially in the dining arena. Stay tuned, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this button over here and stay tuned for more delicious nerdy advice to come.